Welcome. Thanks for joining me. Today's sequence is going to focus on the spine, specifically the back side of our body, and it's going to help you feel a little bit better in your body, a little bit more mobility, stretch out those hard to get places. You won't need any props unless you feel like you need a little bit of extra padding under your belly or back when we get there. All you're going to need is the floor, so that's a great thing. So we're going to start laying on our backs. I'm going to come on down to your back. Rolling down, pausing there for a moment. Take any shape you need to for a moment. And take a nice full inhale here. And let it go. Start to bring yourself into the room, onto your mat, and into your body. Start to connect with your surroundings. Start to scan over your body mentally, physically, emotionally, just acknowledging where you are today. No woulds, coulds, or shoulds, just acknowledgement. If anything starts to come up that ne is negative and will not serve you today in this practice, give it a little loving kindness and send it on, it, send it on its way. Any thoughts that are going to benefit you and are positive, hold on to those and let those sink into your body. Take a full inhale here and let it go. Start to bring your attention to your breath. Full long inhales and exhales. Maybe see if you can get that belly to rise and fall as much as you have the ribs expand and contract. Feel free to engage the ujjayi pranayama if you'd like that slight narrowing of the back of the throat. Or just keep the breath nice and full with no sound. Start to settle in on an intention just noticing those sensations that are going to happen in the body. Being present in your body, being present with your breath. Whatever resonates for you, for your intention, start to let that take form in your mind's eye. And take a full inhale here. And let it go. arms out wide like cactus arms. Start to bend your knees if they're not there already and take your feet as wide as your mat. Take an inhale there. And as you exhale, drop both knees over to the left. Take an inhale there. And exhale all the way over to the right. Take an inhale there. And exhale over to the left. Just noticing those sensations there as you inhale and exhale to the right. Keeping your breath nice and full. Take another breath here and exhale to the left. Good. Inhale here last time to the right as you exhale over to the right. Take an inhale here and exhale. As you inhale, bring those feet back, or those knees back up to center, and exhale there. Press down into the feet. Maybe even make the feet closer together if that feels okay. Otherwise, you can keep your feet separated. And then from here, we're just going to take some twists into our upper back. So from here, you're going to take your right arm and you're going to reach it up behind you, and then exhale, bring it all the way over to the left. So try to get those elbows toward one another. They don't have to touch, but just rotating through the upper back. And then as you inhale, let that right shoulder drop. Take the right arm across the body, back out to the side. Good. As you inhale, reach that right arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, draw those elbows toward one another. Inhale, opens up the chest. And exhale. Good. One more time. Inhale, drags that right arm over toward the left. Exhale there. Inhale, opens you up, and exhale. Good, 
good. Second side. Inhale, takes the left arm up. Drawing those elbows toward one another, lifting just up through the shoulder blades. Exhale there. Inhale, opens you back up. And exhale. Inhale, takes that top arm, slide it up. Draw palm together, elbow together. Keep the knees lifting to the ceiling. Exhale there. Inhale, opens you back up. And exhale. Inhale, slide those fingers up toward the head, palm to palm, elbow toward elbow, take an exhale. Inhale, opens you up. And exhale there. Good, as you inhale, hug those knees into the chest for a moment. And exhale, rock up the spine. And then when you're ready, rolling over onto your belly all the way onto your belly. This is where you might need a little bit of prop. Underneath your belly, you could use a pillow or a cushion. We're gonna to come to Sphinx Pose. So finding those elbows under the shoulders, press down into those hands, lengthen the toes back, so engage the body. So you're gonna reach through the fingers, draw those elbows back toward your hips as the top of your head lifts to the ceiling. Take an inhale there. And exhale. Adding in a little low plank as you inhale, draw your chin to your chest, tuck your toes, lift your hips. Exhale, find low plank. Good, take an inhale there. As you exhale, knees down, hips down, ground through those toes. Press into the hands as you inhale, shoulder blades down the back. Exhale, tuck the toes, chin comes down, lift those hips. As you inhale, straighten those legs, come to low plank. As you exhale, knees down, hips down, extend those toes, press into the hands, inhale here. Exhale, transition nice and slow, that forearm plank. Good, take an inhale here. And as you exhale, knees down, hips down, transition to sphinx and hold. Good, so imagine you're gripping the mat with your fingers. Imagine you're drawing those elbows to your hips while your toes lengthen to the back of the mat. Your shoulders draw away from your ears as the top of your head lengthens to the ceiling. Take one more full inhale here. Exhale. Good, inhale, press into those hands, let those elbows go wide. Stack your hands, rest your forehead on your hands just for a moment. Maybe even rock those hips. So the next pose that we do, you can stay in sphinx arms, which is what I'm going to do, or you can keep your head down as it is now. So from here, you're going to take your elbows back underneath your shoulders, if that's okay for your back. If not, keep your hands down on the ground. And you're going to take your right knee drop out to the side, half frog. So knee and ankle in line, knee and hip are in line. That right hip's going to kind of hover. Still engage into the upper body, so you still have that sphinx pose, you're finding that openness in the front body, and you're lengthening your left toes back. Good. Two more full breaths here. And again, if this ever gets too much into the low back, just come down, so resting your forehead on your arms, same idea with the legs. Good, take one more full inhale here. Exhale. Good, keep that engagement, maybe start to straighten that leg out to the side. Good, flex through the foot so that big toe mound and your heel are pressing down. Your pinky toes rolling up, you're engaging into your leg and hip. Good, keep rolling the shoulders back, keep lifting up through the top of your head. Good, take one more full inhale here. Exhale. Good, as you inhale, start to reach that right arm forward wherever you are. Take your left arm, sweep it underneath the right shoulder toward the right, and then start to open yourself up into a twist. Good, you're gonna take your right hand and just place it on your low back. Let your head be heavy, and just find a little twist with that straight leg. Good, you can even curl your left arm underneath your head for a little pillow. Good, take another inhale here. Exhale. Deepening that twist a little bit. 
You're going to reach that left arm back out. Let that right shoulder drop back. Keep letting those hips slide back. Get that right shoulder to the floor. That might even mean bending that top knee. And maybe that left hand comes to the top knee, finding a little deeper twist. Good, couple more breaths here. Keep that active engagement. Engage the legs, flex through the feet. Tailbone toward your heel. Take another inhale here. And exhale. As you inhale, reach that left arm back out to the side. Reach the right leg back out to the side. And then roll all the way onto your belly with a bent knee. Coming back to that Sphinx pose, slide that right leg down. Gonna take an inhale here. And exhale. Transitioning to the second side, bending that left knee. Good, pausing there. Lift up through the top of the head. Lengthen through those right toes, flex through the foot. Good. One more full inhale here. Exhale. As you inhale, if you can, start to straighten that right leg out. Press down into the big toe and the heel. Keep lifting up through the spine. Good. Reaching back through those right toes. Take one more full inhale. And exhale. As you inhale, slide that left arm forward. Take that right arm underneath the left arm toward the right, left leg. And then start to open the chest, taking that left hand to your low back. Good, maybe you need a little support for your neck. So your right arm comes underneath your head and acts like a pillow. And just finding a little twist here, let that left shoulder be up, pressing that left hand into the low back. Keep that left leg active. Gonna take a nice full inhale here. Exhale. As you inhale, reach that right arm back out to the right. And then slowly start to let that left shoulder drop. Get that left shoulder onto the floor. It might even mean bending the left knee. And then that right hand can press down on top of the left knee. And finding a more active twist. Tailbone lengthens toward heels. Chest lifts to the ceiling. Flex through the feet. Nice full inhale here. And exhale. As you inhale, release that bind. Slide that left arm back over to the left. Slide your elbows back underneath you with that left knee bent. Take an inhale there. And then exhale, come back to Sphinx. Good, lengthen out through those toes. Press into the elbows, drag the chest forward as the top of the head lifts. Good, nice long energy through the toes, through the top of the head, one more full inhale. And exhale. Press into those hands, elbows go wide. Inhale, brings your head to the floor. Exhale, rock those hips just a little bit. Coming to a little deeper opening for the front body here and getting into the shoulders. You're gonna take that right arm out by your side and have your shoulder and elbow in line and then bend it into a 90 degree angle. And then from here, you're just gonna slide that elbow over to create space for your armpit, and then start to roll to that right side. Press down into the right hand. Keep the left hand on the floor. Your head can rest on the floor or a block. And just start to find a little stretch across the front of the chest. Keep the elbow bent. Keep pressing down in with that hand so it's active range of motion here. And then maybe the hips stack, maybe they don't. Maybe that top knee bends. Maybe it stays in front, or maybe it even feels good to bend the knees and come into a bent knee position here with your shoulder on the floor. I like to use this left hand just as a little bit of leverage. Take another inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, slowly transition back to your belly. Exhale, rest your forehead on your arms. Good. Take an inhale here. And exhale. 
Good, taking that left arm out to the side. Look over to that left arm, make sure the shoulder and elbow are in line, your wrist and your elbow are in line, and then slide that elbow over ever so slightly, and then start to roll over to the left. And again, your head can come on a block or a pillow if you'd like to, and then just kind of press into that right hand. I'm finding that I get a better stretch here if I do bend my knees and draw those knees toward me so that it's not dumping into my low back. Press down into your hand. Good. Let the neck relax if you can. Good. Couple more breaths here. Just feeling that stretch across the front of the chest, maybe into the neck and the back of the shoulder. Another full inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Slowly roll yourself forward onto your belly, and rest those foreheads on your hand, or forehead on your hands. Nice full inhale there. And exhale. Good. From here, press into those hands. Press back into child's pose. Take those knees nice and wide. And start to lengthen out. You may need to go slow. We've been on our belly for a long time. So maybe start on your elbows. Rest your forehead and your hands. And as those hips and low back start to open, Start to lengthen either the arms out in front of you, if that's going to feel good. Maybe arms by your side like cactus and forehead rest down. Or maybe even hands back by your feet. Just kind of check in with each of those and see how those feel. And then start to cue into your breath again. Making it nice and slow. Just allowing the back side of the body to lift up to the ceiling. As you exhale, feel yourself growing heavier sinking down into the mat. Two more breaths here. One more full inhale. And exhale. As you inhale, reach those arms forward if they're not there already. Exhale, press yourself up to hands and knees. And take a moment here, maybe do a little cat-cow as you inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round, the rounding into the back. Stop, pause there, take an inhale. And exhale. Good, and then from here you have the option you can transition onto your back again and go back to where you started. Maybe have a little longer Shavasana. Maybe you sit up and seated and just kind of notice the effects of the body. Take a few moments here though. Try not to rush off your mat. Take time for yourself, at least 10 to 15 breaths before heading off and transitioning back into your day. Thank you for joining me. Drink lots of water, eat your veggies, and wear some sunblock. We'll see you next time. Namaste.